told Bavarian beer buffs, it's back. That two-week-long celebration of Suds, known as Oktoberfest in Munich, has returned after two years filled with more twists and turns than a salty hot pretzel. It's a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Everybody talks about Oktoberfest, so you gotta come. Move over, pandemic, and make way for Pilsner. Over 16 days in September and October, six million people will converge on this small parcel of German land that looks suspiciously like a somewhat tacky Midwestern state fair and guzzle two million gallons of beer. It's a tradition more than 200 years old, a celebration of all things Germany. I think this is, uh, should be on everybody's agenda at one point in their life. Which tent should you visit? How do you get a seat? How do you keep from hurling that lunchtime schnitzel you devoured in a drunken haze? Sit back a stein, don some lederhosen, and rejoice, because we were there the last time they had Oktoberfest in Munich in person, and we're about to share with you the three most important tips for enjoying an amazing Oktoberfest there. Prost. Prost. Every year, Munich, the beautiful, centuries-old German town of a million and a half people, swells to four times its normal size, much like the bellies of the beer swillers who crowd its streets for the party of a lifetime. And they will be dancing in the aisles in Munich after a two-year break from the first, the original, and still the best Oktoberfest in the world. It's like a well-dressed fraternity party where chugging beer is endorsed, not frowned upon. Traditional garb is expected. Funny, dancing chicken hats, apparently mandatory. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> sure, we live in a divided world where we can't seem to agree on much of anything, but there is one thing we all have in common, isn't there? I love beer. Exactly, Jacob. We all do. People from all over the world. I'm sitting at a table with Australians, Chileans, Americans, it's just, it's a really amazing time. And that's what's really cool, half the people in here are probably not German. People come from all over to come to Oktoberfest and see it, and you hear the music. Oktoberfest started as a celebration to mark the marriage of the Crown Prince of Bavaria, who later became King Louis I. A small gathering in the beginning, but not these days. It's a feast and a festival and a drunken frenzy. Entire streets are lined with elaborate beer halls meticulously constructed out of plywood, replete with detailed frescoes on the walls. There are big balconies and bandstands. Some of these tents big enough to seat 6,000 revelers at a time, young and old, all clamoring for 34 ounce beers you can barely hold in one hand and clamoring for a good time, like our friend Jacob and his wife Christy. Yeah, this is our first time at Oktoberfest, our first day here. And they adhered to our number one tip for having a great time at Oktoberfest. Get here early, very, very early, like too early to drink beer early. People told us if you don't get here by 6 a.m., you'll never get a table. All right, 6 a.m. may be a stretch, but if you want to pretty much be guaranteed a seat inside one of the crowded tents, 7 a.m. is not a ridiculous time to show up, especially on the weekends. Get here that early, pick a seat, and park it as soon as the tent doors open because it is so crazy how many people are here. Again, six million people over two weeks. Do the math. There's nowhere to sit unless you're early. So our first thought was being very happy because we just came right in and got a place to sit with no problem. Thank you, hon. That brings us to tip number two if you want to have a great time at Oktoberfest in Munich. Don't leave your tent. Seriously, don't get up from that seat, don't go exploring, or you'll be desperately trying to find another spot in another beer tent for hours. And take our word for it, you probably won't find one. This is critical. Don't worry, waitresses in barely their Bavarian wear will bring you everything you need. Beer, food, a big bill for all the beer and food you consumed. But unless you have to go to the bathroom, don't leave. And our last tip for enjoying yourself at Oktoberfest, hydrate. Like seriously, give it a one to one beer to water ratio because those 34 ounce beer steins will knock you on your ass. 
a couple of those over a couple of hours, and you'll be headed straight for the Oktoberfest Kotzugel, also known as Puke Hill. It's a grassy slope on the fairgrounds where revelers upchuck their lowen brows and hurl their hoff brows. You don't want to make this rookie mistake. When you have finally had enough of your beer tent experience, do get out, explore the grounds, be among the people. There are plenty of games, amusement rides, dancing, and music. More than a good time, it's a two-week-long excuse to wear your favorite alpine outfit. It's a totally different culture. And uh, I think it's a fantastic experience to see all the people in the folkloristic clothes uh, and they do love to wear it. An excuse to act like you're in college again. It's so much fun here. There's so much to do. And a chance to bond over perhaps the one thing left in the world we can all pretty much agree on, beer. The people in Munich are very open-minded. You can also in the beer gardens, you can go to every table, just say hello, is there a place, can I drink a beer with you? And uh, so that's what is Munich about. Behold, Beer Buffs, your annual celebration is back bigger and better than ever. And we have a feeling beer lovers the world over have never been happier. Er, happier.